Yeah. Preseason. How do you feel the preseason this camp was going for you? Uh, I feel great. I'm um, learning the system, learning the uh, you know plays. Being in Cleveland is a great time. Um, just feeling back 100% healthy. That it's a blessing to be here. Oh yeah, definitely, man. Uh, good things happen when you run to the ball. So whenever I'm uh, on the field, I'm active, um, trying to get get around the ball and, and be a uh, be as a best uh, teammate that I can be. How, how much of that is it instinctive? How much is it prep? How you know? I mean, yeah, man. Just instincts, you know, preparation, watching film, being able to be up on my uh, be up on my game, yeah. being able to know what what's coming from the uh, offense, just being ready. You know, that that's the main thing, being ready to uh, play this game. John Johnson said that. Yeah. Taking you under his wing a little bit. So oh, what, yeah. what is your relationship with John? Oh yeah, man. John's a uh, big brother that I never had, man. Um, you know, like he said, staying in the same building with him, I can go up. You know, anytime he stay in the penthouse, I'll stay in the penthouse. He stay in the penthouse, I go watch uh, film with him, you know, go hang out, talk ball, talk life, a lot of things, you know, just a uh, you know, like I said, a big brother. Okay, I mean, did he kind of Oh, I mean, we kind of gel, man. We got kind of the same, you know, personalities. And, you know, I knew about him from, you know, uh, L.A., you know, and things like that. And so as soon as I seen him, you know, I just try to be like a sponge towards him and towards the other uh, older guys that I see here. You said you're making plays that most rookies don't make. You know, I know you had to overcome a lot, you know. So what's made you be able to kind of hit the ground? Man, I mean, just hard times is what made me, you know, the person I am today, you know, being able to, you know, overcome everything that I did in this last, you know, year and a half, two years for me, it's been a blessing, man. And, and so when I'm out here, I see every opportunity, you know, as an opportunity for me to get better, uh, for me to help the team. And so, you know, as I came to camp, I came to camp locked in, trying to, you know, prove, you know, what everybody else around me know that I'm uh, able to play on the highest level. How, how you like these cleats? Oh, yeah, I love these cleats, man. These are my most prized possession right now, man. OVJ got me right, man. <laughs> we good. Uh, I just got them not too long ago. Like yeah, week. yeah, bring them in. You gonna wear them or are you gonna like have them sign them and keep them? Oh no, I'm gonna wear these. Wear he gave them to me to wear, so I gotta wear. I gotta you know show them off a little bit, right. make some plays. Did you? Uh, was there a point in camp where you felt all the rust had been knocked off uh, playing last year? Uh yeah, you know um, when I came, you know my first day, I didn't really know you know what to expect, and it was a, a you know a good thing. You know, having being acclimated those two, three days in the beginning, and so being able to go out there and um, you know do what I did, I feel you know I feel like I'm at home. I feel everything's back to normal, and I'm ready to play. Clowney said the other day that he kind of told some of the younger guys that they should be happy to be here because he's been to places where they hadn't gone so great. All right. Did you, did you get that vibe coming in that this is like a, the right place to be? In oh yeah, definitely, the- man. When I you know as soon as I got here, man, it, it was able. You know, it was an open door policy, you know, open locker policy to any guy that, you know, that was here, they're, they're willing to talk to you, willing to help you. You know, it's not, you know, a lot of those stuck up older guys, things like that, man. This is a great organization, great locker room. These guys, you know, they laugh, they talk, they talk ball with you. Uh, Anthony Walker also stays in my uh, building. He's, you know, he'd be right there with me and John, you know, all the time, us three just hanging out, you know, the rookie and the vets. So it, it's a great feeling. How many people you had at that game, and what what Sunday night? Like? Oh yeah, I have about a, you know a, over like a hundred people come out. All of my family and friends from uh, Jacksonville come to Jacksonville. I'm about an hour and thirty. Grew up an hour and thirty away from Jacksonville, and um, being you know going back to Atlanta, you know um, always you know dreamed about playing in that dome and being at uh, University of Georgia. Um, I was able to you know, um, and so when I get to come back there, man, it's the best preseason I ever had. So to play you know to to, to be in uh, Cleveland and still play. Close to home, that's a, a blessing. How many times did you play today? Uh, I played it like four times, three, four times. Do, yeah. do you know how many will be waiting, cheering you on in, in Atlanta? Oh, man, I, I mean, I, yeah, probably another hundred. You know, uh, my my friends, my family, they, I, I know for sure that they're going to travel and come out and support me. So the college teammates? Today? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I've been talking to those guys all week, man. They're pumped. They're excited to see me, man. Last time they see me, you know, I wasn't able to run and do all that, but now, you know, I'm 100% healthy. It'd be a great time seeing all those guys.